Hey guys, I'm Gun25. And Archer9234. For episode 92 of Angel Reveal, today we have the Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, the Max Solzo, aka the Liner Boy from QQ Sentai Go Go 5. Alright, so now we have the Max Liner or the Liner Boy. It's just mainly much a space shuttle. What you what, what the feature is is that when you fold the wings, it has reels, which is really nice. Now you must be careful because due to the fact that the top, the back, the front is very heavy. You, you, there are incidents where you can just do this. Yeah, that's where it splits off. So unfortunately, it doesn't have like a there's really no strong lock. lock, and the back, and you can see right here, the wheels are nice, but there is not a strong lock. So it's a just a shuttle, really nice blue, white, kind of tealish thing with the nice gold chrome. Have the light speed rescue symbol right here. Now the back is all chrome. It has all the rockets and all and whatnot, just like a regular shuttle would have, and it lifts off. So that's off. In order for you to insert the rail rescue, there's a peg on the back. You pull it out and. Just like connect a train, to connect, one. To, connect it to Rail Rescue 1 and Or whatever the one you want Whichever you one, one, it doesn't really matter Alright, so now we have the Megazo mode or the Warrior mode. Now, in this formation, the shadow is now on the back and the shield is now revealed and that's it. Sad part is, is that in the show, you can see that the aren't the legs actually move, but in, in the toy, yeah, it's just stationary. Solid things. The only parts that you can move are the hands, you can move them up and down. That's and it. Right. And even then, it's not. Also in the show, the differences from Liner Boy in the show is that Liner Boy is actually smaller than the Lightspeed Rescue Megazord, but uh, in the toy version, it's a little bit bigger. Of course, the shield has little little guns right here that shoots out, and also the shield is like a kind of reflector thing. Cause Which is very reminiscent to later things with like the Delta Command Megazord has the exact same color. Yeah, um, same thing with the panels over here. Um, in the show, they show it like every time the the Max Solos goes out, there's there's always sunlight, and when it's darkened, you rarely see the Solos always. So there's a sun absorber. If the sun's out, he's Good. If he's not, then he gets a bit weaker. Just like the Lightspeed Rescue Megazord, the little symbol over here, it rotates actually. You so. gotta remember to go into its correct up position rather than leaving it on yeah. the side. You, 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 even though you can leave it on like that, but correctly, it's supposed to be up, the upwards instead of the downwards. Unfortunately, there's no wheels underneath his legs, so you can't really like make him go back and forth. So I suggest you be careful with the bottom because it has the chrome parts on the bottom, so you try not to scratch it. All right, so now we have the Lightspeed Solo Zord, aka the Max Victory Robo. Now the bad part is, is that it's another brick. 
Um, in this mode, it literally is just a brick. Like you can't move the legs. <laughs> the <laughs> legs are stationary. Yes, and it's even worse because you can barely move the arms. You could really just move them up. You can put them in the forward position. Just but for then you. you can't. You can't when you pull them down. You can't do any. Have that on the field. This is the only bad part about this is that the shoulder pads make it less movable, but the arms are still movable. Just now, it's just really hard to move it. Now, in order to use the cannons, you basically just simply flip the cannons in reverse and then simply fold them out and then open the front. In the show, you see him actually pretending that he's actually holding the cannons and firing, but in this mode, it really you can't really hold it because the arms don't open and not. Now, the bad part about this mode is that when you buy the Max Solos, a lot of people lose the core pieces to combining it, mainly much as either the shield or the head. And another thing that people keep forgetting is that the helmet actually is stored inside the Max Solar Zord's leg compartment. When you bought the Max Solar Zord, they actually came with an interactive CD. It's just a simple video game. It was less just like for kids since Let's Be Rescue was more like a rescue kind of theme. That, that's the only addition that the American version had. <laughs> So, alteration wise, compared to the Japanese version, not much was changed. We kept the chrome. The only difference was that on the arms, the windows right here, the gray windows, they left that out. Of course, the Max Liner symbol has to be gone because it's actually not Max Liner. It's the, line, it's the Max Solozoid. And also the windows here were also taken out where the wheels are. Other than that, everything is the same. Flexed material on the stickers are identical, the entire chrome, the paint job is all the same. It's exactly the same thing. I mean, if you don't mind about these more minor alterations, then it's actually pretty good. I mean, we kept the chrome, we kept the translucent little kind of shiny stickers, which is really nice, and the transformation is exactly the same thing. The only bad part is, is that finding a complete one, it's gonna be the problem. Uh, personally, I think it was stupid to blank out the word Max Liner. I understand that the word Max Liner wouldn't make any sense in the American version, but all they had to do was simply say Max Solar. It has the exact same amount of letters, and it ends with an R, and they could have easily had to fit it in. <laughs> The complete set is really nice. The Max Solozoid is one of those Zords, like the Red Bowser and the Omega Megazord from SPD, that you really need this first Zord to have. If you don't have it, then it's, it's a complete just, waste. Yeah, like it's, Dragon Zord, you can't do anything yeah, with it. It's really nice to have. The minor changes aren't really that bad. If you really are a complete person that really cares for the details and all that, if you don't really care for the changes, then just get the Solozoid. All right, so that's it for our review of the Max Solozoid. Join us next week for the Power Samurai figures, Wave 2 and Wave 3. We come subscribe. We'll see you next week. Hey guys, I'm Glenn25. And Archer 9234. With episode 92 of Ranger Reveal today, we have the Power Rangers Lightspeed like Rescue, the Max Solozoid, aka the Liner Boy from Co QQ Sentai Go Go 5. You did that last time. <laughs> QQ Sentai Go Go 5. I, I, the, sometimes it's not scaled right for some reason. Well, because the Mac, because the liner boy has to be in the scale yeah. to the uh, super train. That's the reason why it's a little bit bigger. I'll cut all of them down. The only bad part is a lot of these things are not complete. One is that Lightspeed Rescue Mega Zord, you people lose the sword. The Max Solar Zord, they can lose the shield, the, Omega. the shuttle, or the helmet. The Omega is the missile, and for the super train, mostly the antennas.